r slash nice guy stories by Redmond Dietis. A nice guy dated me just to present me as his I'm in relationship prize. I apologize for the bad English since it's not my native language and if it's too long but I really wanna vent a bit because now it's finally a year since I was set free from a nice guy. It all started when I was in my second year of high school. About 16 17 years old. When all of sudden a guy texted me about anime and Pokemon cards. Worth of mentioning, he was back then about 20 to 23 years old. I loved anime back then so when a guy texted me about it, I was happy to chat with him. Eventually, we got close as he was saying how nice he is compared to other guys and how cute I am. He asked me out after a week of texting. I friend zoned him back then but after 6 months of being good friends, he again pulled out his sweet words and asked me out again. This time, desperate for a boyfriend, I agreed. Hell, this is when things went down. I didn't mind he had about 120 kilograms and was only 160 centimeters. But each time he visited me, he wanted to dine out, him ordering expensive food and wanting me to pay the bill thought the only money I had was pocket money from parents. Good for pizza and stuff but definitely not a fancy dinner. But when getting cheap coffee, he paid it because he was the gentleman and nice guy. Soon enough. He started to push me into stuff I as a 17 year old girl was not ready for. Unwanted touches, deep kissing in the public which was super embarrassing, and pushing me to get on his lap since it was nice when being in cafe, followed with deep kissing and even more uncomfortable stuff. I felt so gross. I told him I don't like it but he ignored it. It didn't take me too long to notice he wanted to date me only because he was so selfish and unattractive he couldn't get a normal girl. Once covid lockdown happened, he always told me on phone how his ex was prettier, cuter, thinner. All with I should be happy for dating such romantic nice guy. I started to be worried he wanted to push me into his bed right when covid would be over but had no guts to tell him to break up. Until I found out he once recorded me and him playing minecraft and though he knew I hate people's attention and stuff, he secretly recorded me and my voice while playing, saying personal stuff. While he said all stuff about being a cool guy with a girlfriend and uploading it publicly on YouTube. That was my last straw. I texted him that if he had no guts to visit me in 4 months. He had multiple occasions since he had a car. I couldn't since trains were limited due to covid. But had the guts to show me on YouTube as his girlfriend prize. That it's over. That surely blew his steam since he spammed me right after with bad messages calling me names and asking me why I don't love him anymore. He was all this time so nice to me. Even asked me if he should buy any present to forgive him. That he is the hottest boyfriend I could have and should be glad I at least was attractive to him. More he begged, more I could see how nice guy he was. He left me tones of voicemails but I rather ignored them and enjoyed my family's barbecue. Eventually, needed to pick up the call of his, where he literally cried into the phone about me being the only girl he can love, that he can't live without me, etc. I just told him he is just too uncomfortable for me and hang up. I need to admit, a breakup barbecue my dad made for me was a sweet reward. That's all folks. Thank you for watching. If you like videos like this one, why not like and subscribe for more? Have a nice evening.